Good afternoon, sir. Sorry, madam. Ayan, good afternoon, good afternoon everyone and welcome again to my uh, ITM 3D1. So to my dear students, if you are here already, please say present. So any moment we will start our class. For, sorry for the delay because we have our class because So while waiting for the others, uh, let's hear more the music. Sorry, Palco. Si Palco, eh, no? Ah, sige lang, Palco. I-consider ta ka. Nas, kita na ako yung message. Pero wak ta ka nasendan. Kalimot ko. How about Mizubi? Bakit hindi ka pumasok sa live sa LARC? Mizubi, asa na ka? Hikor, Hikaro? Pakimiyot lang ko, Jess. Where is Mr. Hikaru Mizubi sa live? Wala siya. 
Salak, Live Salak. Yes, uh, palko, nakita ko yun pero nakalimot ko ano send. Sige lang, i-consider ta ka, no? Pero kasi karo ang dili na ako makonsider. Maribat na mo sa kwari. Daghan kayo mo nag-present pero... Gamay radyo nagtanaw sa live. Uh, we will see. Ada kah cellphone ah uh, Hikaru? Kolin buat ni cellphone si Hikaru Kolin. Naman sir. Ini macam bagai macam cellphone ni pak. Yes sir. Ito pa 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one. 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 Twenty-one.
Asa na kay Hikaru kay magpicture ka ta. Um, I would like to ask if have you seen the video presentation of your ano, classmates? Then did I post it everyone sa team? Pa uh, double check kan ako no atong presentation sa ano. Wala man dyan si ano eh. Ayun na, inisulod. Ikaw na na, Hik. Okay, ah. Uh, ako po di ay. Okay, on sa camera, kulin. Ikaru and Bustria. Bustria, Bustria. Yan. Bag po nalang yun na yung background dahil. <laughs> Ay, di ba? Di ba puti man to? <laughs> Bustria. Yan. Ikaru. Ikaw nalang kulang hig. Yan. Sige. Okay. Pangit pa din sa cellphone eh. Anyway, sige. Smile. Smile tayo. Uh, wait up. Okay. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. Thank you so much. Ay, nagtanaw si Karu. Ako po. Uh, later na lang mamaya. Huwag kayo mag-alis bigla, no? Para mag-pictorials pa tayo. Doon kayo mag-unay sunod si Karo. <laughs> si Karo, di pa signal. Okay, it's already time. So, attendance is closed. Ato lang pa inayang gamay ato music. Sir, nag-double lagi ang team 8. Ano do? Na-double? Wala akong kapansin. Ay, ang sa'yo na-double, Angela. Delayed yun na, Hikaru. Ay, uh, lahi, delayed ang sa cellphone. I mean, yeah. Ang broadcast sa, ano ba? Sa channel, delayed yun siya. Um... Uh, Angela, later na lang yan kung ano man yan. So, ako i-check mamaya. Eh unsa man ang pasabot nimo na double uh, na double ang team nako pagkabutang or na double og upload Religion siya, Hick. Di ba, Rick? Sa English transition. Ganyan, sir. Delay ka, sir. Actually, it's 18 seconds or, yeah. Estimate ko 18 seconds. Sir, mga hatag kag-link para sa Larkster sa mga wala na kadawat sa ilahad. Sige lang, you just wait, Peter. Time will come. Ma-invite ka na dyan. Actually, dugay na ako nag-invite sa inyo ha, sa ITMGD. Kung wala lang dyan ko, nagpa-strike o giklaro dyan sa inyo, wala dyan manulod. Oto. Well, anyways, um, let's start na. 
podcast. That's my lecture. So, um, again, good afternoon. So, this morning, we discuss about uh, what is uh, multimedia and what are the different elements of multimedia. Kung saka ito siya, Hikaru, ang different elements of multimedia. Coins are uh, text, audio, video, animation. Oh. Ko sa isa. <laughs> text video video audio animation kulang juga kita ya ni graphic ah graphic pun well, graphic anyway. oh graphic okay tak nah, aku pun awak kaya karo <laughs> yeah aja Uh, no, 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 attendance for si Bantayan. Okay, habul, habul. Uh, attendance is closed. So, this time, we will be focusing in one of the elements, no? So, ito siya siyang ilahon. Ngayon naman yun, uh, maingon na ito siya na uh, these are the elements of multimedia. For what reasons? Of course, like uh, what we discussed this morning, uh, each of the elements has its truths, no? Baga, na siya ay, um, yeah, na siya rule sa pagiging, ano niya, part sa elements. So, let's start with the uh, text. Text in multimedia. Uh, introduction of text. So, text is simply, it is the basic form of written of communication. So, the most widely used and flexible means of communication. In the history of human civilization, uh, it is the first way of communication is through text and symbols. So, tinood man siya, no? So, it began with meaningful marks which were uh, scrapped onto mud ta- tablets and left to harden under the sea, uh, under the sun, So, it can dry and become readable. Then, texts have the potential to substitute visuals or sound in the presentation of a true interpretation of messages based on the fact that their, rep- uh, their presentation will never confuse the human visual system. So, my question is, uh, which is the most, ano pala, in terms of uh, interpreting, uh, like, ideas or ano, is it in visual or text? Para sa mga kulir. Uh, magdepende jud siya, sir, kay nabay uban yung mga visual uh, sana, mga kaya mga kintahe, sir, mga bulag, sir, mas kuan, I did it, para sa ako, sir, kaya ang text Text, Ay, visual, eh, sir. Visual, 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 sir. <laughs> Naliwa ito, sir. Sige, okay. uh, how about uh, ikaw, Bostria? Asa man mas kuwan sa mo, mas prefer when it comes sa interpretation? Is it sa text or sa visual? Visual, sir. Kay mas, dali mamanggud, mas madali siya masabtan if visual. Unlike sa text, kay mas dag, mas lisod i, i-identify ang deeper na meaning niya, sir. Unlike sa visual. Pero there are sometimes ang uh, visual man good, uh, like atong mga uh, ma-relate man po natin sa one piece. Eh. <laughs> so, po, po, polygraph. Ito to, polygraph. Uh, yes, uh, sometimes uh, actually tama ito sa sinabi din ni Colleen kanina. It, because, uh, it depends on the situations. No? So naman kayo sa yung uban visuals na di ito na ito masabtan po. No? So muna it will be uh, interpreted then through text. For example, yung text po na di po masabtan, mo interpreted po siya into visual. So, again, it will depend on the situation, no? And that's it. also my opinion lang po. Hindi naman sabi na ako yung tama, di ba? Di ba, Hikaro? Yes, sir. Tama dyan ka, sir. Okay. Hindi lagi ko tama. <laughs> so, uh, their meaning cannot be explicitly interpreted by the message uh, that they are created to communicate. However, when it comes to expressing information in text, it has a general meaning and is interpreted in a general way. So, yun pala. 
So the strength and basis of knowledge is therefore the capacity to read and write. Now, it includes characters like letters, numbers, punctuation marks, and special symbols like the asterisk, the N, symbol, <laughs> the percentage, and so on. Uh, what's the symbol, ha? Ka- remember ba mo? What's the symbol? Anyway, it's an arrow pointing up top. So these characters are combined into words, sentences, and paragraphs to convey bas- basic multimedia information. Now, text in the form of sentences, phrases, and paragraphs are used to express the emotions ideas, and facts of our daily lives. So it provides means to explain the functioning of different applications and text facilitates navigation uh, through the application. Okay? Now, text elements can be categorized into the following. Alphabet characters, so A to Z, no? Then numbers, 0 to 9. Then we have uh, special characters. We have the punctuation, the question mark, uh, the period, the comma, exclamation, semicolon, colon, quotation, single, single quotation, double quotation, yeah, and so on. Then we also have the sign symbols. So they have these asterisks, uh, percentage, yeah, this one. And we have these uh, special icon drawing symbols. On sa gaining scene, uh, kaning uh, circle, das na itong as, na, sa sulod niyan ay C. On sa gaining siya na symbol. Rick, kamuto bang po niya sa sulod? <laughs> credits, sir. Basic credits. Ala, kontro po siya. Karo, kamuto. <laughs> Kamu tu bang kau, usai bang kau kena sahaja delete pe ya ta. So this is, ala, ah, ikau. Sir. Yes, kulin and ayo, tama si kulin dan Bustria. Ala grafik ni si ah Hikaru. Dem dapat taning TM, ang TM nak kalimut fokus sa TM actually. Unsa dah tuan si sir? Copyright. Credit sorry sorry sir. Kaparehas jadi moni Peter. Bro, right? pariyata bro. Then we have this TM. Kalimut po ko sa TM eh. Then, sa maning ano. Then, infinity of course, no? So, these are the, just the categorized, no? Of the text elements. Feeling ko, copyright. Nadyo, nadyo, entry si file ko. Okay? Then, the text elements used in multimedia are uh, we have the titles and headlines. So, ito talaga. This is the common one. And sometimes what it, what it is all about. Then we have also menus. No? Uh, this menus could be uh, a, a website. So, yung mga menu niya. No? Or kasi pwede po sa menus na sa fast food chain. No? Na po tayo where to go. So, the directions. So, navigations, how to get there, the content, and what you see when you get there. So, these are just examples of the use of the text elements in multimedia. So, by this one, so, na na chitay, ano no, murag na tay direction, na tay padunggan, or na tay instruction na mafollow kung unsay gusto nila ihatag na instruction ba or guidelines. So, ganyan ang text element. So, we go now to the types of text. Ayan. Oh. So, type, types of text or a text is a piece of writing that you read or create. And there are three types of text. We have this expository text, narrative text, arg- argumentative text. So, the type of text depends on their purpose, structure, and language features.
So types of text, uh, the expository text, uh, it is intended to identify and characterize experience, facts, situations, and action in either abstract or real element. Then expository texts are meant to explain, inform, or describe, and they are the most frequently used to write structures. Okay? So, klaro man kayo na ang expository. Then, ang narrative entertains, instruct, or inform readers by telling a story. Yun na, we have this narrative story, narrative ano, ano pa yun, yan, example. Then, narrative texts deal with imaginary or real world. So, I think this uh, includes na yung mga uh, poem, no? Uh, my question is, since uh, we're talking about narrative text, and it says that uh, imaginary or real world, uh, ang El Filibusterismo, Filibu Filibu tama ba ko? Hindi <laughs> tayo. Uh, no limit ang hirin na lang. Tumapil ba siya? Mabilong siya sa narrative, no? Colleen, Bustria? Yes, sir. Then, narrative can be fictional and non-fictional. So, apindiday siya. So, fictional, we have fairy tales, myths, novels, science fiction, horror, or adventure stories, fable legends. So, muna to si, ano? Si The Squid. So, non-fictional articles, newspaper, newspaper historical writings. Then we have this argumentative text. So argumentative text aims is to change the reader's belief. They often contains negative qualities or characteristics of something, someone, or someone, or to try to persuade their readers that an object, product, idea is in some way better than other. Okay. So, nakuha ang different types of text. How about sa uh, who's watching the live? Nakuha, Ra? Yes, sir. Ah, Nag-watch sa live akong gay pangutan. <laughs> hey, sa, li sa live day. Sige, <laughs> <laughs> ba? Okay, so... Uh, so we are done with I don't know the different types of uh, text. So let's go now to fonts and typefaces. So I know uh, most of you here using the word font, no? Like for example, um, unsan ina ano a font ang imong gigamit di ay sa pag layout. Unsan ina font? Per na po yung na naga naga ingon na unsan ina typeface. So, what's so the difference in the No? Yes, thank you for uh, response, Vincent. So, fonts and typefaces. So, fonts, a font is the combination of typeface, size, weight, slope, and style to make up a printable or displayable set of characters. So, font characters include letters, Numbers, symbols, and punctuation marks. And it is important to be intentional when choosing fonts because they can affect readability, influence tone, and reflect professionalism, all of which will influence how ideas are communicated. So, ganun ang font. While on typeface, so it is a set of characters. Of the same design, so these characters include letters, numbers, punctuation, marks, and symbols. So some popular typeface include Arial, Helvetica, Times, and Verdana, and many other uh, typefaces. No? While most computers come with a few dozen typefaces installed. So there are thousands of typefaces available. No? So, nauna ako ng question. So, what is the difference between the fonts and the typefaces? 
So, ito yung sagot. So, fans versus type phrases. Although they have different meanings, people often use the word fan interchangeably with another tip, uh, typography term, typeface. Uh, think of a typeface as an entire typography family and a font as a specific size, weight, and style of a typeface. So, in any ba atong pagsabot sa, ano, sa font and typeface? Ikaro, ingani mo pagsabot? Karon sir, ingani na. <laughs> How about uh, Bustria and Kulin? Karon na po, sir. So, karon na muna ka po, ano? Libog-libog lang, sir. Ah, okay. So, how about sa nag-watch sa live? So, usually, ginagamit ninyo, no? Kung saan na font ang imong gigamit, something like that. Tapos, mga ano na font, ba? Okay, noted that, yes. So, naklaro na ang say difference nila. So, pag maingon kay kag ano, um, katong tahoma, no, tahoma, ang sa pala different uh, typeface. Uh, Virjana, Roman Gothic, Arial. So, muna yung tawag na na typeface. Well, kay specific man siya. Fan amo ginagamit, sir. Ha? Okay. So, okay na na. Tama na po na sa katong flash drive o USB, no? So, karon since underground go man tayo sa multimedia na. So, kabalo ni Juta karon, no? Pero, ang sayo po di ako, di ba? Pag mag-explain ko, ang sayo, ma mawala ko. Okay, ma-fan ma ma po na ko. Kasi nga, uh, since uh, moment atong kasagaran gina ano good gamit wala usay pun makuan pun yak mind ba na fan fan which is dapat di typeface jud lagi so for example times new roman is a typeface that defines the shape of each character within times new roman however there are many fonts to choose from such as different size italic bold and so on so pag buingon tag fan unsay fan Times New Roman, bold, italic. So, o sa inyo, atin lang, malibog yapon ko. No? Pero specific yun, ang tawag yun ano yan, is typeface. So, kato dapat yun ay pag-ingon ako na type, uh, different type, uh, font face, no? Then, mauni siya ang uh, font niya na siya ay uh, bold. So, mauni to, di ba? Yung ato dapat to. So, ako po mismo na, na sa inyo, mawala yun ko. Okay, so moving on. So we have this uh, font terminology. So fonts are defined with this font terminology. So we, we have this type family. So a type family is a group of typeface design characteristics and encompass many size and style variations. Example of type families include courier, Helvetica, and Times New Roman. Second, typefaces. A typeface is a collection of characters that have the same style, weight, and width. Style is the inclination of a letter around a vertical axis. For example, Roman upright or the Roman is upright or italic slanted. Okay? Then, weight is the degree of boldness of a typeface. For example, medium or bold, or pwede po niya strong. Then, width is the horizontal variation of, in a character design. For example, uh, normal or condensed. Then, pwede po niya katong uh, sharp ba yun? Uh, fine, no? Fine. Then, we have this type font, type size, and complement. So, a type font or, fa uh, or font is a collection of characters that share the same type family 
typeface and type size. So collection of characters for expanded core fonts are referred to as complements. Note in the type transformer, complements are called character list or list. list. <laughs> And ito, ito yung sample sa figure. So the figure below show the basic component of Helvetica type family, including typeface, which is the style, weight, width, uh, complement, type font, and type size. So we have this type family, the Helvetica. No? Then yung typeface na siya ay, uh, Roman and Italic. Then, ang sa style niya, ang weight niya na siya medium and bold. Kasi ang italic po na medium and bold. Na condense na po ay normal. Tapos karoon din sa normal, natay complement, ayan, Latin 1, Latin 2, 3, 5, and uh, Cyrillic, uh, Cyrillic Greek. Then, type font, uh, Latin 1, kay Helvetica B, point Roman na medium normal. Then, atay uh, type size. So, may pa nagbutang tayo kung example ani, no? Dito sa, ano, sa Photoshop dyan. Na-open ba na ako akong Photoshop for a while, ha? Para mas masamtan dyan na ito. Uh, Agi close na dahil na ako ang Photoshop. Okay, so, klaro ni eh, ang font concepts. So, I hope after this uh, class, no? or even this semester sa atong subject ay TMGD1, maka balo-balo na dito sa proper na terminologies. No? <laughs> so, we've been, uh, tawag ano eh, ay din na natutog kami ito na, na term. Okay? So, moving on. So, natay classification of funds. So, muna ni siya. So, based on yung classification, kung saan dito ay dapat uh, exact na gamiton na mga uh, typeface no sa pagdesign so magdepende jud na po sa imong theme no na may uban gusto na uh, for example sa wedding di ba most of the uh, ano is atong pinakatay so unsa man ang pinakatay gayud na mga text na nakabaluan ang pinakata pinakatay na text si tawag ana the viewers Kung sa'yo tawag ang pinakatay na text? Kaya kung sa kasal? Cursive. Cursive? Kaya ang calligraphy, sir. Mo na. No. Dili. Ang calligraphy is ano na siya? Term na siya sa pag ano, design sa ano ba? Lettering. No? So almost eh, Karo. Pero uh, it's a How about sa uban? Kung sa'yo tawag ang mga pinakatay na mga typeface. So, itawag ana. Kanang sa kasal, mostly, ginagamit yun na siya na occasion or, yeah, occasional na siya or romantic na uh, pagka-layout dapat. So, muna siya na yung mga pinakatay. Cursive, uh, cursive, kapares, tubag ni Karo Uring. Ayaw, hindi siya hate. Uh, Atay man yung siya. Okay. Serif. Yes, almost there, uh, Roland. So, natin yung ginatawag na. Sige. Proceed ta, ha. Para maklaro dyan na ito. So, karun, makabalo na ta. Unsa dyan na siya. Ayan. So, we have here. Eight. So, ang nakapasok na sa answer is na si, si Roland. Hindi po siya cursive ha. Hindi <laughs> po siya freehand. So, mga nang calligraphy term na siya sa ano. So, we have this. Uh, these are the following classification of fans. Pero, nagkanda kayo po niya, no? We have the old style or garalde or sa pagpunyang sahay, garald. Transitional, modern or didon. Uh, didon. 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 Slab serif. Ayan. San serif. Kani. O niya akong kasabot. The Gothic scripts and handwritten and the de decorative or novelty. And I just say stylish cursive. <laughs> Ayan, kanay. 
we have this uh, old style or karalde or karald. So, some from Brunel, sorry. So, this type of font was designed by the printers of the Renaissance and it takes up many Roman elements. Uh, some specialists consider old style to be a synonym of uh, Gerald. Others consider Gerald as being category of old style together with Venetian. It is characterized by the low moderate contrast between thick and thin strokes and the serifs are usually rounded. It is defined by excellent readability. So some of the most uh, used font is this category. So are Gar uh, Garamond, Minion, Pro, Palatino, and Centaur, and Bamboo. So what is Garamond? So in any ang font style. Then next, transitional. Yeah, so as the name states, it is a transition element between old style and modern fonts. So this type of fonts can be recognized by its characteristics, the majuscules and the ascenders of the lowercase are on the same line. Breaks are oblique or horizontal. And the axis is slightly oblique or horizontal. No? Then rounded serifs are more formal than old style, but less formal than modern. So by the far, the most used font from this family is Times New Roman. So actually, the SR, dapat dalawa lang to eh. So kitni haba lagi ni siya. We have this serif and sans serif. <laughs> but anyway, so mani siya modern or uh, Daidon or uh, these fans have very strong features uh, thin horizontal strokes but thick vertical vertically ones Ayan. and extreme contrast between strokes serifs aren't rounded and joined vertically so the modern fans have appeared in the 18th century and the creators being the Daidon group which was based in the France and Italian printer uh, Giambattista Bodoni. <laughs> so some of the most important uh, exponents of this kind of types are the Century, uh, Bodoni, Detut, and Bookman. Okay. Next, Slab Serif. So influence of modern style is powerful, but these fans have other features that make them stand out. So the serifs are square and larger. The same in line weight, and the serifs are usually perpendicular and rectangular ends. Ayan. Perpendicular siya. So pasabot ang kaning isig tumoy niya, kaparehas siya, o ends, ayan o. And rectangular ends, and there are five different subcategories, the Egyptian, Clarendon, Italian, Latin, and Tuscan. So, Malaysian sample of slug serif, we have the Rockwell, Memphis, Figaro, and Excelsior. So, atong ibalik, ha? so, lahi siya aning sa uh, region kay Awargod, isig tumoy siya talinis, ayan. From, uh, kung i-focus na to, from a thick to thin siya. While kaning sa ano, sa slab serif, pantay jud siya tanan. No? Makita ni mo pantay ang measurement, no? ang iyang thickness. Ayan. Tatanan niya na uh, typeface. No? Then we have uh, sun serif. Ayan. Kaning sa sun serif, this font was created at the beginning of the 19th century. But it look uh, but it took almost a hundred years to gain the popularity it deserves. So the main feature of the sans serif is the lack of any serif in French sans means without. So this type impressed with their simplicity and large usability, it is considered as the most abstract form of the letter alphabet. Okay. So the most important uh, fonts are Helvetica, Arial, Futura, Century Gothic, and Jill Sans. So napansin ninyo karon ang sans serif. 
Awa, tanawan ninyo ang difference sa serif. Ayan, muna siya sa serif. Uh, uh, Unahon na to sa Garamon, sa Times New Roman, Century, Rockwell. So, mauto siya ang uh, serif. Karun, ano to sa San Serif? Ang say napansin ninyo? Hey, Karun, ang say napansin ninyo ang difference? Kwan, sir. Uh, wala siya ay serif, sir. Straight, ay, dritso lang siya. Wala siya ay tumitumbo. Ang sumunay ng serif? Ang sa to? Wala ay? Tumay-tumay, sir. Ayan. So, that's it. So, si San Serif, wala siya ay tumoy. Uh, tanawan ninyo, tumakita ninyo mo nagdiritso lang siya. Unlike atong uh, serif, na dyan siya isig tumoy. Awa, eh, compare na to. I like this one. Namaklaro man na to. Ayan. So, press an century. O, oh, na dyan siya tumoy ang letter N. Ang U niya. O, oh, ang Y. While kaning sa aerial, karun, wala. Murag kaning siya katong normal na, 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 na writing. No? So, madyan na siya ang duha ka ano dyan siya. Ah, uh, category or classification dyan. We have the sans, the sans serif and serif. No? Kani kay murag na, uh, since magod nagkadaghan kaayo dyan ang, ang fans, no? Ang classification sa fans and type faces mo na. So, moving on. So, we have this uh, gothic scripts. So, these fans look like they had been written, handwritten in the Europe of Gettenberg. age and because of that it is very easy to determine their origin so gothic script is characterized by the elaborated and complicated shape of the letters and it is used mostly of diplomas ayun ito siya, invitations <coughs> and other formal equations it is highly recommended to use them only in lowercase and avoid uppercase Other names of this category are black letter or old English. <coughs> And the most prominent fans are uh, Cloister Black Light, Black Forest, and Linotex. So, uh, the mod niya, Gothic scripts. No? Ano to, ang inyong answer dire is cursive. So, dili siya cursive, dapat scripts to siya. No? Atong na yung mga pinakatay or something uh, pang formal use. Okay? Next is the handwritten. Uh, so these are the fans that look like they have been handwritten. They have a natural look and letters, have a cursive current aspect and are highly rounded. And these are fans are not very legible. So good example is Rage, Italic, and Christopher Hunt. Then lastly, the uh, decorative or Novelty. So, mga junis, ako na ba yung Joker Man? Dito na ako siya <laughs> makalimtan. So, uh, decorative fans are easier to classify. They are the fans that can be included within and any of the above categories. And the main purpose of such letter is to create a mood or to try to be original. And this is the reason why they are really used in a print or web content. So, makakuha magun siya attention, no? So, sa fans pa lang, nang natay matawag na uh, decoration na, no? So, ibala na to ang iyong thought, ah, so, kung ni na fans. So, again, it will really depend on the situation kung sa ang theme jud mismo sa imong gilay outan. Would that be a classical, a novel, a party, sa pa na, uh, so na, na occasion, the gangway types of occasion, di ba? disco so ganyan so nana sa imo as an artist na mo classify jud ani so mo present ka ani sa imo client na sir ma'am so these are the uh, possible fans because of the team that we have okay so so since it's almost time and we're not yet done so we will continue Uh, it na lang, no? On Wednesday. Okay? So, para dyan may bala na to. Unsa dyan yung possible pa dyan. Unsa yung ang right uh, text or font types na atong ibutang sa atong design. So, hikaro, 
to always kami ata mag lecture for now <laughs> like you said diba yes sir <laughs> so wala nang katanungan din kasi nga we will continue pa sa ato ano no uh, we will continue this one next meeting sir lahi na ang sir lahi na mo ang sulod sa Lahat yes, sulit, sir. Uh, lahi ang mo sulod na po next meeting. No? So every meeting lahi ilahi para at least nakoy uh, participant no kapo <laughs> kapo. It's something weird. Uh, I mean, delay na po ko happy. Charet. Kaya wala mga mo response ba? Okay, delayed man just. Yes, Gane sir. Namidre sir para ipahati ka. Nagjud. <laughs> okay, so if you have questions, so let's do it next uh, meeting na lang, no? Kasi it's 3. Then again, 3.30, suspended ang klase, no? Um, PPT, June, uh, I'll give it after matapos talaga tayo mag-lecture. Okay? Nothing to worry. Hindi mapukuhin ato ka kwa na di na ko ihatag po. So I'll just, ano, um, uh, I need to explain it first, Jude, para next time, mag-review na lang mo. Kapasin. Like, ato, ano, di ba? Introduction to multimedia. What is multimedia? I know some of you really researched ganito, ganyan, but nindot, Jude, kung na-ay, ano, uh, na-explanation. Okay? Huwag sa mga bantayan. What happened, bantayan? Why are you crying? Ha? Huh? Okay. Sige. If you have no more question, please don't forget to thumbs up. No? Ayos agawa sa nadiri. So, oops. Okay, thank you so much uh, attending the class. So, see you on Wednesday. Bye for now. Salamat sa tanan, sir. Ayos sa tao, Peter. Mag-picture tayo okay, kayo. Okay, Wala sir. na klaro ka ganina. Bakit hindi dito kayo kaya siya na-stay? Ayan. Ayun, nakita ko na. Ayan.